Your scooter will not survive. Come on. You need a bigger bike. No, don't go. It's too dangerous, especially for a lone lady like you. How are you? Uh, uh, yeah. These are what people have told me before I went on my two years riding adventure. When setting out on a journey, do not seek advice from those who never left home. This does not only apply to travelling, but also many other aspects of life. Get your information from those based on experiences, and not those based on fears and hearsays. In my previous video, I shared with you the paperwork required to travel around the world with your vehicle. Actually, it can be more complicated. Border crossing procedures are not the same for all the countries. It can also be very fluid according to political landscape. The information you get now may change months or even weeks later. This video is not about the nitty gritty details about crossing the borders worldwide. Instead of giving you the fishes, I'm going to teach you how to fish for information. Internet is your best friend. The term for self-reliant vehicle-supported adventure is called overlanding. Google it and you'll find many web resources about it. One useful website is overlandingassociation.org. It shows the map view of requirements to import your vehicle. There are other sites like wikioverland.org, which has similar information. It also offers very practical tips like how to handle bright attempts. I've listed the links of these sites in the description. However, some of these websites are not up to date. You may not be getting the latest information. And so that brings me to forums and social media groups. You can find many of these groups on the Overlanding Association website. Another platform is the Horizons Unlimited forum and Facebook group. Share your travel plans and post your questions. You get responses from people who have been there, done that. You can even connect with other travellers nearby or even locals who can provide help and advice. Bye-bye! In this group, you can find many other travellers' journey and you will be inspired by all of them. And trust me, there are many of them out there. And after reading through all the accounts of all these travellers, you realise that the world is not as scary as it seems. Through their journeys, you can also learn about possible issues along the way that can better prepare you for what's about to come. For even more updated information, hostel campgrounds are excellent places to meet other overland travellers. I would often come across overlanders travelling in the opposite direction. We will exchange latest information about other countries. And sometimes, we will even exchange unwanted currencies and SIM cards. Hello! Hello! Hi, how are you? How are you? Yeah, good! Where are you going? I'm going to Omalo. Uh, How's the road? A few moments later. Ah! This is scary shit. Another very useful website and app is the iOverlander. You can find nearby places like campgrounds, mechanics, consulate, and custom immigration. All the places on the map are contributed by users themselves. Users can also add reviews and procedure on how to extend visa or clear immigration. If this information is too scattered for you, I recommend the Bible of Motorcycle Travel, the Adventure Motorcycling Handbook by Chris Scott. It has everything you need to know about motorcycle travel, from the type of motorcycle, the setup, paperwork, and safety advice. Prepare to the best that you can, but bear in mind, you can never be 100% prepared. If I had waited to be 100% prepared, I don't think I would have ever left for my trip. It's not enough to be just prepared. Problem-solving skills, resourcefulness, and adaptability are important assets that will tie you through difficult situations. Because during an adventure, things are bound to screw up. You cannot avoid risk, but you can be well-informed and take calculated risk. Others are going to definitely talk you out of doing this. But if travelling is something that you really want to do, don't let others impose their limitations on you. In many years to come, you are more likely to regret the chances you never take. These are the resources that I use to help me plan my trip. What other kinds of travel advice would you like to learn? Do drop a comment below and let me know. Remember to subscribe to The Wandering Wars for more travel stories and tips. 
So happy planning, we dream now and travel later.